All right, look, me, me, me in about 10 minutes. I am one to make money. That what money you think you making? What you talking about kind of money I think I'm making? Bro. What? Think about it. <laughs> you ain't making nothing. I'm a thug, bro. I'm a thug. You ain't from no hood. Stop it. Where hood you from? Bro. Really? You know, my little brother probably act like, you know, he try to, try to say I'm not a game bang, but he already know what I do out here. Look, man, don't call me unless you back there, man. It better be dubs and up. You better For not real. be one of the enemies. Damn, I'm finna get my bread, I'm, I get paid. Bread over now, it's straight work. What? I got money stacked under my bed. I gave it to you! When? When? Oh, now you act like when? I didn't put you on? Cause, bro, you ain't never put me on. There is no relationship between me and my stepdad. That's my mama's boyfriend. He ain't running nothing around here. Man. He just came in here. I can't really call it a relationship, you know. He just there. That's really what he is, just my mama's husband. That's how I see it. I don't even know what mom's got with this nigga. Man, when she first brought the nigga over here, I was like, yo, ma, it's something not right about this. I'm just waiting wait for him to slip up. I'm just telling you. Tell you, I know this nigga been up trying to mess up this party we finna have, though. Man, one day we at the rec center. Me and my bro, we planning a party. It was finna be the party of the century, man. It's just off. The chain. I already got the weed. Man. We about to have some drinks. We about to just turn, turn up all, all the way. way. Whatever you call me. It was me and my brother. Uh, we was talking about uh, setting up this party this weekend. And we just trying to have a great time. It's about to be summer break. This already I got set up. The way I got this set up, I got the DJ. We don't have Saturday, right? Saturday. 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 Right. You know, and then he comes out of nowhere. We, I, I, I don't even know why at first he had us there at first. I don't even know what the reason was, but uh, he came in here tripping. Uh, he gonna try to tell us that we can't throw a party at my mama house. Put it on Facebook, that right, put it on yeah. Twitter, all that. I'm going worldwide with this. I ain't even hit We're this gonna shit. Do some project X. <coughs> what well, y'all about to do? What? We about to throw a party. First of all, I come in from getting a phone call from the staff talking about how my boys are down there selling dope and gang banging out out the rec center. Where y'all finna throw a party at? The house. I ain't finna throw no party in my house. Go again. Like, <laughs> go again. Go again. Be there Here or be square. Y'all <laughs> be be better figure that. Y'all better figure something out because it ain't happening at my house. So we get into it. He goes, has the audacity to knock my hat off my head? You know what? I might not have brought y'all in this world, All right. but I could dang sure take All you right. out. All right. Take you understand? nothing out, man. Can take you up out of here. Hey, bro. Don't forget hey, bro. your place. Hey, bro. You got to keep bro. your hands off my little bro. bro. Hold on. No, no. I got this. Bro, I got bro this. what? I got bro, this. what? I got this. Well, he put his hands basically on my little brother, and you, you don't do that. I don't care what type of authority you think you have, but no, you don't put your hands on my brother. I got what? What you want to do there? I got this. You know what? I got this. You let's go outside, man. Let's go outside. 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 Say that's no, no. Make we can you know run it you know right now. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell, tell you, you, tell you exactly what we're gonna do. But I had to realize, yo, these are my wife's kids. So the only thing I could do at that point was call for help. I remembered that I know Bishop Kelly, so I got him on the phone as soon as I could. Come I'm sick of this, man. All of a sudden, the phone rings, and there's a guy on there, nice guy, by the name of Raymond. Hello. I need to talk to Bishop Kelly. Hey. Hey, Raymond, man. How you doing, man? Look, man, I need your help. I really do. Sometimes it can be hard dealing with your stepson. So he called me and he said, Earthquake, man, I want you to come over, man. And, uh, and I'm really, really, I can't, I can't take it no more. I can't. Oh, man, sorry to hear that. You there right now with you? Come on over here, please. Give us some help. I was already so relieved that he could come. I'm about finished. And I'll be right over. Okay. Okay, I'll be here. Me and my bro talking about it. He comes in. Don't go nowhere. What you mean don't go nowhere? I've got somebody come up here. We need to talk about this. Bishop Kelly came in 
and he really uh, put us up to where he could relate. Oh, hey, man. Hey, man. Man. What's going on, man. Then this other guy come. I'm thinking to myself, if you can't handle me, what make you think some other dude can handle me? How y'all doing, man? I'm Earthquake. And I introduced myself to him and I started talking to him. Now, I'm not from California. I'm a New Yorker. Bishop Kelly was like, you know, you ain't seen gang banging yet. Okay, 125th Street in Harlem. We sit down, we talking, you know. I'm listening to him. Yo, this one right here, mm -hmm. Craig, he want to be a dope dealer. And he really broke it down to them on their level. Talking about heroin and everything else. I got needle marks to prove it. Well, he looked like he been through some stuff. I'm, I took it all to the heart because I know I know if I've seen and I've seen people on the street go to stuff like that. I've seen a lot of people killed. But everybody yeah. Kelly got to talking, you know, he, he you know, really kind of let us know. My job is to try to help youngsters all around the world. So I got a chance to hear from both sides what they was doing and it's always a God, man, and he helped me. So I really took most of the stuff he was saying in consideration. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. I ain't going to tell you how to do it. I can see as he's talking to him that their demeanor is starting to change. Just give him one day. Just a day. How about that? Earthquake Kelly kind of imparted in us that it's more to life than that. You think about it? I think about it. Yeah. And give some consideration. The big opportunity was when, when he had them break down and say, yo, I'll give him a chance. That's all I was hoping for. I mean, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Any dude that come in to try to keep moms happy and deal with us, yeah. you know, he worth a shot. Because <laughs> we ain't perfect, man. man. We got our flaws, but we try, you know. Yeah. Thank you for giving me my boys back. I think by the grace of God, I believe that this thing is fixed. We good. Yeah. All right. We good. And I can go on to the next situation and help somebody else's family because I think this thing is going to be great.